Hi and welcome to YouTube Home Edition channel. In the first two minutes of this video, I will show you how to install an SSD drive into your computer. Later on, I will actually show you how to improve the performance of your SSD drive by doing a few tweaks in the Windows 7 registry and also in your BIOS to make sure you get full performance out of your new solid state drive. Okay. I'm unpacking my OCC Vertex 2 drive. It came with a bracket that allows me to install it into a five and a quarter inch drive bay. Okay, I'm just gonna speed up the video to show you briefly of what the drive looks like. It's very tiny. And this particular model, I believe is 64 gigs. And right now I just put it inside the bracket and now I will fasten the drive to the bracket so I can install it in my five and a quarter inch drive bay. Okay, now it's time to mount it. So I just remove my door to my case. I grab the drive. Grab two mounting screws and attach it. Once the drive is attached, I will attach a power cable and then I will attach a serial ATA cable. The serial ATA cable, of course, has to be attached to the drive as well as the motherboard. If your motherboard has many different serial ATA headers, make sure you use a proper header that allows you to reach maximum speed of your SSD drive. Okay, at this point, you put your case panel back on and you can install your operating system on your SSD drive. Now, I'll play my next video that will show you how to set up Windows 7 and your BIOS so you get the best possible performance out of your SSD drive with Windows 7. In this video, I will show you how to improve the performance of your solid state drive, also called an SSD drive, on the Windows 7 machine. I just made the changes to my system and the benchmarks proved that there was a significant increase in performance. I used Size Software Sandra Personal Edition Physical Disk Benchmark to test the before and after. The drive score has been improved by 29%. That's a big difference. The random access time has been improved by 385%. Now that is a huge difference. The time to read capacity dropped 1 minute and 15 seconds or 29%. Also a very impressive improvement. Overall, the improvement was huge. I also verified that the Windows Experience Index for the primary disk has also improved from 7.1 to 7.5. That is also a pretty big improvement. So I hope you are ready to begin, and don't forget to pause the video when needed. These how-to instructions are provided at your own risk, and not suggested unless you understand the risks involved. You have to make sure that your controller and motherboard BIOS support AHCI before you complete the registry tweak and BIOS tweak. I ran a backup of my system drive with a Kronos True Image software before I attempted these tweaks. The performance increase according to SciSoft Sandra Personal 2012 and Windows Experience Index is significant. I cannot guarantee that you will receive the same results. I do, however, recommend making a backup of your SSD system drive before proceeding. First, let's check to see if Trim is already enabled. We need to open up a command prompt window with administrator privileges. Click on the window star orb and type CMD into the search box. Right click on the command prompt icon and select run as administrator. Type FSUTIL behavior query disable delete notify. If your response is disable delete notify equals one, then your trim is disabled and we have to enable it using the next step. If your response is disable delete notify equals zero, then you can skip the next step. 
Note, this will not affect your regular hard drives that do not support trim. Type FS UTIL behavior set disable delete notify zero. You should receive a response of disable delete notify equals zero, confirming that trim is now enabled. Tweak 2 enabling AHCI in Windows 7 registry. Click on the Windows Start Orb and type in regedit into the search box. Then click on regedit or press enter. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Services, MSA, HCI. Optionally, you can right click the key and ex export the key to make a backup copy of the original settings. Now, double click on the start in the name column. Change the value to zero and click OK. Okay, restart your computer and enter your BIO setup. Usually it's pressing delete or F2. Every BIOS is different, but try to find the option for storage configuration and go into it. Okay, now change the SATA mode from IDE to AHCI. Now save the changes in your BIOS and exit to restart your computer. The booting process can take longer than usual because Windows 7 will be looking for SATA device drivers. The driver should be installed automatically and you should get a pop-up in the lower right hand of your screen notifying you that Windows 7 is installing device driver software. That's it. Then you can run some benchmarks and notice the improvements yourself. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Subscribe to my channel YouTube slash Home Edition for more great how-to videos and also some really cool car videos. Take care.